Let's get this show on the road. Hi, Bellum. How are you doing today? I have to open the light in here. It's dark. Last day of this project. Uh, most likely not going to work on it for a while after this. I have um, other things to do. And the main focus of today is big rotating chamber to put eight of these things on. So we previously uh, went ahead and put on the wheels for modular support yesterday. And now today all I have to do is create the rotational holder, the rotational chamber, uh, add multiplexing support for batteries, test mode tolerances, and render design, and then I'll be done. I shouldn't be too hard. They say this now, but watch this take like eight hours to complete. So I already had a uh, file, a file called um, battery arc here. In which I'm gonna guess that um, the diameter of this thing is 400 millimeters, and I could be very wrong. I think it's actually double that. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and import one of these battery shell models into this design to gauge how this is gonna work. So there's gonna be eight of these things, um, eight of these battery shells. Yeah, that's that's gonna that's gonna be. Uh, a little tough. And this outer ring represents where the wheel should go. And you can, as you can see, it's not even close. I think it needs to be double this, like 800 maybe. Which is going to be a very large ring. And the distance between 800 and 750 maybe. So that looks a little more like it. So you can go ahead and move this uh, all the way up. And we can see like the wheels are resting on there, which means it should be fine. Generally. Let me go ahead and center this model as well. Just gauging uh, what I have to do. So yeah, it looks like 50 millimeters was the correct play because it's 25 on each end, uh, which means if the wheels are rolling, um, then they would um, perfectly rest on this outer ring here. I think I'm gonna double this just because. Um, yeah, I'm gonna double this uh, just to be safe. Instead of 750, I'm going to do 700. That was the wrong one too many zeros there. So yeah, something like this. And then I'll move this back for like 50. Something like that. Yeah. So there's going to be eight of these models all the way around the circle. You know what? I'm just going to put them there right now just because I can. Uh, move. Create copy. Oh, I'm going to use the pivot point, the center as the pivot point. Just. Oh. The pivot. Oh. 
come on. So the center is pivot, and then rotates. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. So move it there. Okay, make a copy. Set the pivot. And then rotate it. Okay. And then again. Set the pivot. This is the part of the project where it's the most satisfying. You just copy and paste, and it works. Some of the time, anyways. Okay. And now we just do it again four more times. So set the pivot to the center. Check. And then this time it's 45 degrees. Copy paste. Set the pivot to the center. And then rotate at 90 degrees. And again. All right, so now we have eight batteries, a lot of joint views. Wonder if we can like mass get rid of these. Um, but then all the wheels are in place for the outer ring, and now we just have to find out the correct, uh, correct measurements for the middle two rings, which is easier said than done. Okay. So the difference between um, the difference between these two distances, which I didn't measure, I'm gonna go ahead and measure this by going from this wheel to this wheel, and I'm gonna get 98 millimeters. So it's a 98 millimeter difference. Um, so seven, 800 minus 98. It says this look no glasses challenge. Oh goodness. Um alright. So eight hundred minus ninety-eight is gonna be seven hundred and two. Wait, that's not right. Oh, minus ninety-eight twice, because gotta account for the other side of the circle. Six hundred and four. And then 604 minus 100 is 504. Just make another circle there. 600 and 504. Okay. And now I gotta measure the last one. And I can't see. So this is great. I can't even see chat um, from here. Give me a second. Lol, Bellum, how you been? <laughs> I can see basic blurs and colors, but I can't see the entire thing. So the distance between this wheel and this wheel, 97. So like to be completely honest, I can probably just directly Calculate this. So 604 minus 97 minus 97 is 410. So 410 and then 310. And then theoretically, it should be right. Okay, and I'm just gonna extrude this 
this, this. Alright, you think 25 millimeters is good enough for a platform? 25 millimeters is like 2 centimeters. It's, it's, it's thick enough. It'll be able to handle holes and stuff. New body. Looks like a giant induction stove. Okay. Oh yeah, that's, just, that's looking pretty funny. All right, so that's basically it. Um, rotating chamber. I say basically lightly. Uh, now the next step to do is to find a way to connect all of these pieces together. Um, theoretically, I'm not going to be able to print this all unless I have a giant CNC machine or something similar. This is literally 800. It's like a... It's like a Big boy jigsaw puzzle. So printability also has to be taken into account when, when doing this. So it looks pretty good. Um, got eight batteries on a rotating chamber. Something in the center is going to connect with all of these batteries. Um, that's why we have the holes in the back here. And that's something center is going to be a giant stepper motor. I'm pretty sure friction forces are going to be taken into account. So I'm going to have a giant stepper motor in the center, and then two actuators turning the wheel around and assisting its movement. And all three of them are going to have to be... Oh. Oh, what's that? Oh, thank you, uh, Gooby, for the follow. Um, <laughs> welcome aboard. I think it's been five minutes, right? I can put my glasses. Uh, I'm sorry, Chris, you can put the glasses back on. Oh, I, I read that a little too late. <laughs> no worries, Slack. No worries. No hard feelings. Um, Crazy Busy, my multi-stream channel launched Saturday. I just got loyal Moses to spot support us. Nice. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> cool that you have a sponsor already. We go live Saturday at noon PST, and I'm working my ass off to make it work. I probably have a live DJ for launch. They just stream live music. A live DJ, too? <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Oh, hey, Postron! How you doing? It's been a while since I see you. How are how are things in life? How has uh, life been treating you? Which is my screen? It's a main screen. It is main screen. Okay. He's also one of my mods. Nice. Good to hear that. All right, um, well, I guess 50% of this is already done. A bunch of copy and paste later. Um, I'm gonna spend the time making this fancy now. So each of these rings is gonna have to have a border. So I'm gonna guesstimate that I'm gonna give this a, uh, I'm going to project that sketch on there, and I'm going to give each of these circles a, let's say, 5 millimeter border. Why is that off-center? Wait. Is this whole thing off-center? Oh my goodness, why is it off-centered? Um, <laughs> wait, was this sketch originally not placed in the center? Uh oh. It was. Did it move? Oh, it did move. <laughs> it did move. Um, I'm okay, still messed up. Hope you guys check it out. I don't get to have as much here. Uh, hi. How about here as much as you do? Yes, I'm plugging, but I also miss you guys. Oh, we miss you too, Slack. But like everyone, check out Slack's channel. Uh, I think it's Maker Live. Uh, launching on Saturday. 
If I have time, I'll be there. Uh, but no guarantees. But uh, Slack stuff is definitely amazing. You guys should check it out. Make Your Life TV, yes. Live music, yes! <laughs> Live music, DJs! <laughs> That'll be exciting. I'll definitely have to stop by and check it out. All right, anyways, uh, now that we've solved the mystery of why this thing is not centered, um, let me go ahead and project those. Okay. Um, well, I need to make a border, or two, or three. So if this is going to be 800, then I'm going to need... Um, <laughs> Twitch.tv. Make your TV. Oh, yes, thank you, Pausmer, for the plug. 800... Let's say, um, would 10 millimeters be a good boundary, or maybe 10 millimeters? Maybe 10 millimeters. Let me check it out. So if, if, I, if I have a 10 millimeter border, then it's going to be 790 and 710. I mean, given that it's it's a little literal 50 foot thing. Um, 10 millimeters is probably not going to make a difference. You can even go as far as like 15 maybe. It's going to be in the center of it all. So if it's 15, it's going to be 785. And then 715. Gives it a smaller, smaller room. Actually, I'll, I think I'll go with 10. I don't want to like give this too much of a minimal room for error, or else it's, it's gonna not like that. Um, so I'm gonna go back to 10. I think 10 millimeters was good. So 790, and then 710, and I'm gonna do this for each one of them. Give it a 10 millimeter border. This is 604, then it's going to be 594. And then 514. Four, that's 401. Why is it different going all the way around? Why is this thing not a circle? <laughs> Three ten. Oh, it's just three ten. Um, then three ten minus ten is just three hundred. Wait, that's the wrong circle. Well, this thing's not a circle. What? These planes are so weird to work with. It's not a circle. Oh my goodness. How did I mess up this badly? Four and four ten. Oh, one of these is not in the center. Oh, one of these circles is not like the others. So four ten. Four ten. And three ten. Maybe that's why the plane was off. <laughs> Delete. Uh, 
Okay, this should be in the center now, yeah. 410, so 400. And then 320. Alright, and then... Extrude. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Extrude up by like 10 millimeters. Alright, and then... All the wheels should be in place now. We should have a good border. Wow, that's that's not gonna work. <laughs> Maybe five millimeters. Yeah, five millimeters. It's gonna cut it real close, but um, I think it's gonna prevent a the battery things from falling off. B giving it more room to turn because they they're all on a swivel. Let me color the uh, color the road real quick. So I think each of these road pieces has to be um, individually sliced out and put back together. Because there's no way I'm 3D printing this entire thing. I mean, as, as much as I would like to. You know? Ah, uh, it's lagging. My computer has been lagging a lot. Uh, Slack does 3D printing, design, candle making, steam engineering, automation, and community and channel development. Uh, channel is a multi stream channel featuring anything and everything creative, including 18 Plus. We have auto promotion of our members as well on David DJ to do a license. I like the DJ aspect of it, it's, it's, it's inventive. <laughs> Alright, um, I'll do like gold. Gold is a good color. Golden Road. I like how shiny gold looks in like a render. I'm not gonna render this right now because it'll absolutely destroy my computer, but I'll save it for the end. Okay, so we have the basic pieces in play. Let me just make sure that each of these like wheel thingies are in place and won't fall off. I, th I think it's fine because I spaced it out correctly. It's a little close to the edge there, but I think it's okay. Okay. So we have eight of these battery chambers. Um, in addition to the center, central ones, I also want to um, put like a lip, maybe like that's flush with the um, output of the battery chamber, just to so like um, whoever is using this has some room to. Uh, what am I saying? Just like a mouth for it. So maybe on one of the ends here, whichever one was the front, this one. So maybe create like a loading platform attached to it. Maybe later. I'll, I'll save that idea in mind. Yeah, I mean, like, staring at this is not going to make it any better. Um, I'm going to make it... I'm going to start making on the... Um, okay, I'm going to start making this thing printable. So this thing is literally a huge ring. And in order to print this, I'm probably going to need to slice this in some way, shape, or form. Um, so I'm going to rotate this top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create an... A sketch right here. I think I'm going to offset it by 25. So it's on the bottom. Okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make sort of like a Lego structure. Um, so 
like this, like this. Kind of what I did with Hyperloop, where I had, um, okay, hold on. This thing is not liking me. So in Hyperloop, when I found a way to put the track together, each of these pieces were, were cropped out in sort of like a rectangular piece, um, where they would snap together. Um, using some sort of jagged structure. So for example, if I had a line going from here to here, um, it's kind of like how those Japanese um, artists do woodworking, where they would um, they would have kind of like a piece going outwards. So this dimension would be Let's say five millimeters. And then each end they would kind of like cut it like this. So they would slice the diagram along this line. And let me see if I can just like offset, offset it by like five millimeters there. Um, and so the cut would be offset by like one millimeter, maybe. Wait, no, that's not how you do it. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's say, hmm. I, I'm trying to think of how I'm how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> how I'm gonna execute this plan here. Okay, I think I think I think I know it. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do a kind of uh, setup. This. The center. something like that. I'm thinking of Legos, so how Legos snap together. Um, it's more like this formation. And then so the center is going to be extruded this way. And then the top two pieces are going to be extruded this way. And then I'm going to offset this piece by like 0 0.5 millimeters. Because I think 0 0.5 millimeters is like the press fit range. Okay. And then all I need to do is extrude at, at these angles. Um, Right. 
So one of these sides is going to lose half a millimeter to, um, actually no, maybe not. I wonder how accurate, accurate this is. Okay, I'm gonna try it out first then. Because theoretically, if I just go ahead and no, I would need I would need a offset line too, so it would cut properly. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make an offset line for this one. 0.25 to the left, and then 0.25 to the right. Okay, finish sketch, and then I'm going to cut this figure. Here, 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 here. Hold on, I'm gonna need to uh, project that sketch on onto onto the front. Okay. And then it'll let me select more of it. Okay, so following the outside line, I'm just going to chop away this line here. It's not letting me select this 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 outer line. Uh, There you go. Uh, okay, wait. So, how is this gonna how is this gonna work? If I extrude on the left, I'm not gonna get it to be solid on the right. No, I can get it solid on the right. Um, I just have to do a little bit of cutting and trimming. But now the bottom one isn't working. Oh, goodness. Okay. Can I drag it too far down? should work. Yeah, it's not fine because this, this will overlap onto it. Okay, I need to add one more thing. So like this has to be connected with the other piece.
right. And then when I cut it, I can't just do a full cut. I have to go around it. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then uh, I'd be basically making a big jagged cut. Yeah, I think that would work. Let's try it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then with any luck, when this is printed, this will fit together perfectly. Do I think this is gonna work? I have no idea. And then, um, if I want to go ahead and just, let's say, mirror this. Pattern, circular pattern. Features. Axes. Say I want to multiply this eight times. I don't even know one of these like track pieces able to print this long. Actually, I think it might, as long as the width doesn't exceed like um, eight. I think I can build print this. Oh, goodness! Wait, what? Wait, why did it remove everything? Okay. Yeah, I mean, kind of like those, um, with luck. Kind of like those tracks you used to play with as a kid. Um, those, like, wooden train sets. Reminds me of Toys R Us. Cool. Now I just need to replicate that. Rectangular pattern. Features. Directions. Okay, this is not even, so I have to go through this one at a time. Three, two. And then this is going to be 98 for the first one, I think. Yeah, I was correct. 98 for the first one. Error. Why the error? Or maybe I just do it within the sketch. Yeah, I'll do it within the sketch. and then 98. No, that was the wrong direction. rectangular pattern again. I need seven this time. Okay, and then with any luck, I can open the sketch back up. 
All right, let's see which ones are not solids. And we'll scream and yell at me if I try to extrude them. This top one here. That's fine. All right, and then extrude. Last one. Now, I, since the rings are going to get smaller, I don't expect um, there to be as many circular pattern replicas for each one. Like, if I get down to the real small ones like these, I can probably just print them on a regular printer instead of Belty. And the less prints I have to do, the better. That was not the correct one. Okay. So maybe like this. This middle one. I can do six. Because I definitely can't print all four of those. Uh, look at this tight, tight little thing. I wonder if this will actually fit. I need to print this out and check it out. Because <laughs> if not, I'm going to have to do with some serious. Um, Redesigning. Just. Yeah, I think those pieces are fine. And then maybe like the smaller one, I can actually do four. gold. Oh, did, did not mean to select everything. Uh, how do you select? I know, just drag it, drag it on one by one. to connect all these pieces together and I have the perfect idea um, you know theoretically depending on what I put in the center I should probably design some, the, the, the central motor thing that goes in the center first huh um, but depending on what's in the center let's say that this is a placeholder for now. I have this huge circular plate. Even that's, even that's really large, actually. 200 millimeters. Sure. Let's say it's a big old cylinder. So 75 up. And then 25 down. Is 
the cylinder. Um, is going to be the central structure for everything. So I'm going to go ahead and make a sketch on the bottom of this. So there's going to be eight beams crossing um, this circle that are offsets. Why is nothing else filled in? Okay. Um, and then I'm going to take all of these sketches. And then I'm going to select the pivot as the center. And I'm going to rotate everything 45 degrees. And it did not like that. Because it is locked into place. I'm going to delete the um, projection too, because I know it's going to be a uh, 800 diameter circle, so I should have just done that instead. I think that way... Um, that way it would have been a little bit easier for uh, everything to be a solid shape. There we go. Um, and then I can just take the whole thing and rotate it. What? I don't know why it doesn't want to rotate. Uh, I don't want it to be drilled. Yes, I do. 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 Um, say five, ten. So I'm gonna have a screw to the left and a screw to the right, and I think this bottom beam will join it together if the press fit doesn't. The terrible thing about the, this is that I have to do each one individually. Uh, or, or I can be a, s a little bit smart about it and just like rotational circular pattern it. Haha! -ha. No. Two. No. Three. Four. Five. Uh, cool. <laughs> maybe, maybe 20. Yeah, maybe, maybe 20. So, we have long rods. I'm not sure what's going on in the center, um, but that's probably something I have to deal with, so uh, I'm going to deal with that right now. So I'm going to trim everything that's going on here. Yeah, I know, I didn't 
hating me for destroying constraints. Kandarsa redeem saved my work. Oh, hi, Kandarsa. Yeah, thank you, I'll save my work. Fusion's whining about not having constraints. Imagine that. Take like all the center lines in here. Oh. Nope. That was the wrong move. Okay, you know what? Um delete it. And start over. So, 800 circle from the center, not 80, 800, and then a line from here to all the way here, uh, 20 offset from each side. And then I circular pattern this thing eight times. Okay. Now, I, I know I'm going to have to print four beams. I just need to know how to fit them together now. Uh, which is the hard part. Hey, Sam. How's it going? So I have to create a whole jigsaw puzzle formation of a of a of a print just so that the beams will not intersect with each other. As you can tell, this like whole design is a bunch of jigsaw puzzles. With with this um I, I realize now like how weird this looks, but uh it's okay. <laughs> I'll live with the consequences. And I realized if that doesn't work, the middle's gonna implode. I need a circular pattern in the center one. Eight. And then maybe circular the middle eight. Uh, I think this way will give the model the best chance to not um, fall apart when I print this. Black. Oh. Black. Bulk. Black. I would paint one. Yeah, pitch black. Okay. Um, right. Back to the puzzle. So these are going to be eight beams, 20 millimeters wide, printed on uh, Belty. These Belty rocks. Um, Are these? Wait. These are straight, right? <laughs> these are these are these are straight, right? These lines don't look straight, but I think they are. Um, okay. <laughs> so, how to do this? Well, okay. I'm first I'm gonna connect these two lines because these are the first ones. 
And then I'm going to need a way to um, put the next ones on. How do I do this? Um, well, no, because they, they all have to cross each other at some point. Right. Okay, I think I know what to do. So the first first beam is going to be a normal beam. A normal 10 millimeter beam. If you will. Uh, give me back that sketch. Then the next sketch is going to be Gonna be a beam seventy nine point five. It's gonna be a beam that's almost extruded to it, and then I think it's just gonna go over it. Should be able to press fit this in. I don't need press fit. Uh, 79. Right, okay. Um, close this off. Extrude these um, both ten. Okay, so this is gonna be the second one, and then there's just gonna be like a central disc holding everything together. Actually, that would be so much easier than what I'm doing right now. That's okay. Um, yeah, because the center one's going to be a beam. <sighs> that still doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> it's not straight. Some of these are not straight. Are they? Wait, this inner circle, maybe because maybe I was looking at it from a wrong angle. 
something like that. Proceed to make a disc that screws this whole thing in. Let's see, what kind of screws do I need for this actually? Um, this slab is 10 millimeters thick, which means if I have my um, the offset with the counter bore holes, it's going to be 8 millimeters of depth, and then it has to go at least 8 more millimeters deep. To hold it in place. Do I use 12s? Is 4 millimeters enough? Or do I use 20s? Or do I use 16s? Which I don't have. Ooh, that's the real question here. What kind of screws do I use for this? Hmm. Alright, well, one more offset plane. I am going to make a circle that is 150 millimeters long. And the circle is going to be 5 millimeters thick. No, 2 millimeters thick. I am realizing the implications of this because. Um, I might have to stick something up through the middle. Yeah, I don't think the middle should be... Yeah, I am going to have to stick a shaft or like an axle up through the middle if I want to rotate these batteries. Um, so this may not be the greatest plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to reserve the middle for whatever I'm going to put there later. And then I'm just going to eliminate everything from, from, from this point. Okay. Out of here. Yeah, because if I'm gonna have something in the center, center later on for um, the step motor and whatnot, this platform isn't going to turn. It's going to be um, the batteries that are turning. Right. Batteries that are going to be rotating around. Okay, so that means each of those pieces are probably going to be the same, and I just wasted like 30, 30, 30 minutes of my life looking at this, just trying to figure out how to build it. All right, I'm going to take a real quick bathroom break, and I'll be back. The effects of my actions.
Alright. So, now that I've realized that this was probably a waste of an effort, I am going to try again. Yeah, so theoretically, I don't even need um, all eight of them. All I need is one. Yeah, I've heard like often the easiest solution is the best one. Yeah, so I just make one of these. Uh, hold on. And then based on the projections here, I'm going to space them out, space the screws out. Should be one line. Uh, wait, why are there two lines? No, it should be the black line. And then center rectangle. All right. Let's see. How about thirty by twenty-five? That'd be good for for spacing. Well, it looks pretty good. I'll go with it. Okay. Finish sketch, and then I'll do my um, hole. Hole settings: counter bore, simple. Six. No, it's gonna go ten all the way down. Six two and then three point five. Okay. So that should theoretically go in. Fine. And then all I do is rectangular pattern. Features, directions, 
two. No. Two. And then Where's the down direction? Or maybe I should have just done, I should have just done this. Rectangular pattern is easier to work with on sketches. Okay. All right, and then um, I need to just map it onto the pieces. Times they'll be the threaded ones. So simple tapped. It's gonna be a anti-metric M. It's gonna be a three millimeter. Okay, so eight plus. I'm gonna go with an eight by fourteen or M three by fourteen screw, and I'm gonna give this um, depth of six millimeters down. just pattern, circular pattern. So wait, this is circular pattern. Eight. Oh goodness, look how many screws are gonna be needed to put this thing, entire thing together. That's 12 times eight, which is, that was not the correct option. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I haven't saved. Uh-oh. Oh, please respond. Please calculate. Please calculate correctly. Doing the calculations. <laughs> oh boy, I have to wait for this. Um, well, I, I guess <laughs> that was anticlimactic. Um, I think I'm gonna end the stream here then, uh, because my fusion has crashed. Uh, I'll be working on the rest of the night on this, although I won't be streaming it, so I'll show you guys what the end result is tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah. But, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, for right now, I'm going to go take a break and then work on this again. I sense an all-nighter in my near future. So, excited for that. This, this auto fusion will not... 
Okay, it just, alright, it just crashed. Okay, um, well then, I'm gonna update the, um, milestones. So you can create the rotational holder. That, multiplexing, yes, I did that. I did not do motor tolerances, but that's okay. I'll finish the rest tonight. Should be good for now. Um, well, thank you guys so much for watching today. Uh, let's raid uh, Glorgana. First name I saw on the list. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Um, we'll go over the finished product then. All right. Bye for now, guys. See you later.